so hello guys welcome back so in today's tutorial we gonna learn how to do machining of this part so for that first we already draw a geometry how to create this 3d geometry in our previous tutorial so let's get started for the machining of this part so first of all as usual gonna go to machine and select a machine mill default and then go to properties tool settings make tool program one enable assign tool numbers enable advanced options and then go to stock setup and over here we're gonna click on all identities and then add 0.5 to z to make our stock more than our part so click ok and over here the red box shows the stock setup which is bigger in z direction so as we put 0.5 more so now we're gonna do tool paths so for that click over here to expand gallery and then select area roughing first we're gonna do roughing of this part so for that we're gonna select roughing and then after that select the machining and then select the identities click ok and then select control a and select all solid and click over here to end selection and then change our wall stock and floor stock to 0 0.03 by double click on the value and now we're gonna go to toolpath control and make sure it's remain default and over here to the strategy we're gonna make it to inside we do inside because it gonna be keep the tool inside the selected machining geometry and we use this strategy when machining a pocket so here we machining a pocket so we gonna stay inside and other factors gonna remain default and now we're gonna select our tool for that go to tool and then go to filter and make sure it's none and then select our and min bull and then it's gonna be equal to 3 8 which gonna be 0.375 click ok and then go to select library tool and then select our 3 8 bull end mill with code radius 0 0.0625 click ok and then comment over here roughing part and then next gonna be our cut parameters and then click over here and then make sure it's climb our convention we're gonna go by climb as you know climb in climb we go cut in one direction with tool rotating in opposite direction of tool motion so whereas in conventional which cuts in one direction with the tool rotating in the same direction as tool motion so better is climb which is good for roughing so we're gonna go to climb and then make sure our optimized cut order is enabled which means which places the tool in the area and keep it there until all cuts are made so then we're gonna go to keep tool step down gonna be our 0.375 so it's gonna be remain default and then we're gonna go to our keep tool down within distance or so percentage of distance gonna be 500 this means after passing one pass and if the distance between another pass is more than this it gonna go vertically up and then like z00 and then start that path but if it's the distance between two tool paths is less than the percentage of distance so it just it doesn't go go rapid it's just gonna go by the feed of which is given over here so now go back to here and then make sure these are remain default and x y step over gonna be in x and y step over so it's gonna be 45 percent and then we're gonna go to this one we need, don't need trudge tail so make it off go to transitions make it helical so it's gonna be entry helix radius gonna be half of our tool diameter which is 38.375 and then its radius gonna be 0.1875 and then over here we gonna select our feed rate so obviously for the helical we gonna go firstly slow so we gonna enable plunge rate or we can also enable feed rate which directly refers to 
over here are feed rates this is an example so it's not exactly what I'm putting but I'm just like if it depends upon the material and how much we are doing with that cutting and now for that simply go back to our transitions click over here to plunge rate and then uh, go to linking parameters make sure our clearance plane is to 2 inches and it's from absolute and then over here make sure our fully vertical retract is selected this means that the tool gone after finishing the tool path tool only gonna move on the z way not gonna go on z or x y like not on a 3d motion just only go on z axis first after two, and then two inches and then go to other position so it gonna help us in saving any damage or if tool hitting and this gonna save in hitting a tool with the part so it's a safe mode so over here to the leads in and out we gonna change it to point 0.1 which means it gonna go incrementally point 0.1 above st before starting the tool path and it gonna go point 0.1 out after finishing the tool path so now we gonna click ok and you can see over here our tool path is generated and now go to select over here and click on verify selected operation and now you can see our roughing of our pocket is going on and therefore make it a little bit faster as you can see our tool is doing roughing and now we can as you see in the parameters we're gonna minimize it as you can see over here in parameters we left 0 0.03 and 0 0.03 on both wall and stock so now we're gonna finish it so for that we're gonna go to expand gallery button over here and then select for the horizontally we're gonna go to horizontal area toolpath and then click over here to wall stock to zero floor stock to zero and then do the machining select identities and control a similarly as we do in roughing toolpath so end selection by selecting all solid and now we're gonna go to toolpath control and it's gonna remain same as it is and then go to tool this time same, same tool I'm gonna write finishing horizontal and then select a 3 8th bull end mill and then go to cut parameters make sure our depth cut is only one as just we have to remove only 0 0.03 so xy step over gonna be same and our percentage of tool gonna be 100 leave everything default and then go to our transition tab over here make sure our radius is 0.1875 as half of our tool diameter so go to linking parameters make sure everything is incremental and then just simply click ok and then you can see our tool path is generated now we are gonna go to select all tool paths and go to verify it and then click over here to verify tab and then go to color loop to enable color loop and then just simply start stimulation so as you can see our horizontal is almost done so over here to for a better view we're gonna select all operations so for this time we're gonna select our first tool path and another tool path and then go verify to see the difference so click ok so as you can see from the beginning this is our first tool path which is roughing and then I'm gonna make it a little bit faster over here and then our second gonna be our horizontal finishing as you can see over here it's doing finishing the tool so our horizontal is done now our vertical is left for that click minimize this tab 
select all t to hide the tool path and you can take similarly press all t to come to show the tool path so click over here to alt t for now to hide it and now we're gonna do vertical we already did four horizontals finishing so for that we just simply gonna copy the operation last operation so this select all operation and then select this one as you can see over here a green tick shows this tool path is selected whereas this doesn't select it so now click right mouse button and then drag it over here and simply click over here copy after this gonna copy the tool path and you can see over here this red arrow we're gonna make it in the bottom of this tool path for that click move insert arrow down one item so as you can see our arrow is downward now and now simply we're gonna change its parameters so click over here or you can also select if you don't want to copy it select from here but just for a shortcut to save some time we're gonna do like that and now for over here to tool path type here it's gonna make it change as we selected in the previous operation it's horizontal tool path but for now we're gonna select our water line so which you can see over here is good for draft angles in vertical position as we have 10 degree draft of our ellipse inside it so and radius also so now go to model geometry similarly select this geometry control a and end selection uh, other side you don't need to do that because our selection is already selected in our second tool path so that's why everything is similarly i just showing to you if you want to go from other tool path section so for now just we gonna click over here and then <coughs> select our boundary for this time so click over here and we're gonna select our boundary to outer chain of this rectangle so click ok our boundary is selected now <coughs> and keep everything default and we're gonna change our tool this time to ball end mill so click over here none and select ball end mill so it's gonna be this one and then our and and our <coughs> and then our diameter gonna be 0.375 and then finish finishing finishing vertical or you can say angle draft so now select tool over here which gonna be this one and you can change over here feet and speeds but this is example so we don't need to worry about that for now so now we're gonna go to our cut parameters make sure it's climb optimize and then everything should be default and then go to our transition tab remain default step down click over here to z depths and detect limits it's gonna automatically detect its minimum depth and maximum depth so go to linking parameters remain everything default as we already did in our previous tool path of horizontal finishing so just simply click ok and now you can see over here our tool path gonna be generated as you can see over here it's cross so we need to make clear the dirty operations so for that click over here regenerate all selected operations so now you can see our cross is removed but we cannot showing our tool path here because we hide it by clicking alt and so you can see over here we bring our all tool paths and now we just simply go to select all operations and then go to verify tab to see how the part actually looks after machining so click start and this is gonna be our roughing as you can see And now it's gonna be our horizontal tool path which shows blue color and then our waterline tool path as you can see over here so as you can see our machining of this part is complete 
Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and see you in next video.